is going on everybody Luke here in today's short video we're gonna be going over how to check if you've got uh, units that have not been booked in through Amazon when you send shipment and then if you are short on a shipment quantity meaning for example I sent in 1014 and it is only booked in 997 and then the status or status whatever you want to call it is closed that means that that is the final count of your box and so we're going to be going over how I go about reclaiming stock or reimbursements for lost stock and you can see here this one's received um, but that's fine because you have to wait till it's closed meaning everything's been finalized so they give themselves a little bit of a window to make sure this is then correct and many times this will uh, adjust to that or higher it might it might go to 416 before it then uh, goes to close and then you can go ahead I get my virtual assistant to every week or every so often go and just basically request reimbursements um, so I'll be going over how I do that quickly and also it's no guarantee that you're going to get all your quantity back okay so but what happens in many cases is that the longer you do Amazon you will get more stock than what you sent in good example here sent in 661 units they booked in 662 it happens you know it's it's really kind of random how it happens there's no way reason they do it it's just it's just you know because people make mistakes and that is what happens and you can do your best to try to get all the reimbursements back but you will find that over time two months later three months later two three years later you get stock back i've had lego and some playmobil that i sold three years ago and i've now got it back and the lego's at 100 quid you know that that's the, the, the kind of quality or the cost of the products that was probably like i don't know 40 quid when i bought it 35 40 now it's obviously at 60 so we're going to be going over basically what i do so once it's closed you obviously want to go here and you want to sorry not there you want to go and click on the actual shipment id and then it will take you into a section like this and then across the top you'll see reconcile now you can see all these are submitted but what it would do is before you submit it it will have a drop down it will basically say items are missing investigate or something like that or investigate missing items or something and if it's your mistake you can say oh i said i see i did it wrong and it's my mistake it's correct and then what you want to do so once you've basically gone through all of these and chosen your correct designation for it you want to go in and upload the invoices you know the way that i do my invoicing is that every time i do a purchase uh, on my purchase sheet i'll always get the virtual assistant to link a google drives version of the invoice to the purchase sheet so she can go i don't know that's to say it's a cardo or something and she can go right the invoice for a cardo on the you know for these products because you see these products in my purchase list and she would jump on and get and grab the invoice and yeah i might make a couple of purchases around the same time but it's very easy to find rather than going through your email box for like half a day trying to find one specific invoice or something and some of these will be blurred out so you don't see all the different retailers i buy from but a card is fine to see because everyone knows that i use them um and again you won't see these products but fine uh, we, we don't really care about that we just want to know what to do so once she's gone ch chosen all the things and then she's found the invoices that relate to me buying these products she'll then download them so she'll just download all of these as many as you need and then what i'll get her to do is a circle the quantity or highlight the quantity on on an edit yeah and basically and then so that it shows you all these quantities basically so you want to show that all of these quantities have been purchased in invoices pretty much as close to the time that you, you sent the shipment in or created the shipment um even though that's ages ago but i there was some stock that literally took months to come to go in so it's not necessarily a big deal because they know that sometimes you buy stuff and it takes a while to actually get the stock sent in and then i just get her to do a <clears throat> quick sort of generic copy and paste to all of these say please do a full investigation of the above shipment in all the content and all the content which doesn't make sense but okay and all the contents sorry as all the contents was shipped to amazon fba in this shipment that's correct please then i always used to say this please review the photographic evidence and do a full shipment reconciliation of the products which will confirm that the correct stock was sent to Amazon and you have miscounted. So even though they don't necessarily go and check, they haven't got photographic evidence. They have like a one thing probably to say the box weight and stuff like that, but that's it. I basically just say that to say, look, if you do that, you'll see. And it's like, it's just another like sort of backing up. I'm, I'm being confident. That's that's more what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be confident that if you do, you know, and sometimes I have said, yeah, it's fine, go away and uh, recount everything. So just go and grab the products back and do a recount and you'll find it's fine. And they, they won't do that, but it's more just to sort of be confident in what I'm saying and then i say obviously please see the attached pods and invoices so it's either you know some of them are going to be proper invoices some of them are just conf confirmation emails like uh you know super drug have a quite generic sort of confirmation email but it doesn't really matter i just i just show everything in 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 its entirety make sure your name's on it the company name i normally put my main name not my name together the business name the address make sure the billing address is is correct and you don't just sort of default to oh let's just click the delivery address because it's easy you know more things you can match up that the better it is and then highlight all the products that you want them to look at because if there's a million different products on these invoices you don't want them to be getting confused and, and miss something and then what you want to do is obviously go to preview request submit then they go and investigate and i don't actually go and even check 
what I get back reimbursed because I'm getting my virtual assistant to do everything I would have done before. So there's no reason for me to go and check. Maybe it'd be interesting to see what happens. Okay, this, you know, I don't look at, I mean, I literally look at the reply that Amazon sends. I normally get this into my email box, but I don't look, delve into it. So I understand your concern in regards to the discrepancies on this. This is the items they are saying, please note we have received following unexpected items. Ooh, interesting. Uh, plus five plus five. we believe that these additional units accounted for the missing units that you have reported therefore we have used these units as substitute for the following i've never okay and then they've given me some reimbursement here again it's very sort of crappy in the way they kind of say they don't even tell you what it is you got to go and like copy that to, you know you've got to go into the next sheet and find it but ultimately this is actually interesting i want to see what these are because they're saying that i didn't send these in so that'd be interesting actually you can after this video gonna go and have a look so maybe it's worth me looking but ultimately i don't uh and if you get unexpected infantry like if i've never sold this before and it appears in my inventory then i wouldn't i would it wouldn't actually be selling because i wouldn't have it as a product in my catalog to be selling it would just go into a stranded and then i can invest i always check my stranded anyway so i would find out at that point what is this and then i would go back in the steps and find out it related to this and that's that's basically why i don't go and investigate any further because anything that might relate or, or be created by this sort of a query for example they're saying this is sent in it doesn't matter to me and you could find that these are better products or worse products and ultimately you can just go and sell those products and over time they might uh, reconcile it and find out no, actually you didn't have as much as that we're gonna deduct some costs and sometimes they find stock and they add it back there's so much stuff that they just find and lose and find if you go to your infantry adjustment report in the reports fulfilled by amazon then just find inventory on the left and inventory adjustment you'll find all the things that says like missing found missing found like all the time and the more stock that you have and sell the more crazy it gets in in that uh in that section so anyway i'm gonna leave the video there it's eight minutes a bit too much for short but hopefully that it'll help somebody so see you on the next one guys bye